well, three wins in a row, but you'll be more impressed by the statistic that says three clean sheets for us. I mean, uh, a lot of credit to the lads in front of you, I'm sure you'll yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we've been bound on a lot, and you can see that in the last three games. We've been solid at the back. We've not really had too much to do in the previous three games, and the league games you want, and obviously getting the results and that even make it even better. Uh, the, the fans are quite taken to, to, to Dan L since he's uh, since he's arrived. I mean, he, he's a big unit, isn't he? And, he? and he's very, very positive in his defending. Yeah, he's a big lad, isn't he? Uh, very good player on that, and he's just uh, came in, done really well, and he's got a nice few songs out, doesn't he? Last season, you had obviously the influence of you know, people like Peter Clark and Jay Spearing on the side, but in Jordan Turnbull, though, you've, you've got a very experienced player, and I know he does a lot of talking at the back. How important is that to you? Yeah, obviously, that would be about experience because uh, we do have quite a young squad. And, Come back for with a bit, uh, bit of experience with Jordan, that just helps it, and it just I think that shows in our performances as well. Those two away wins in a row, you know, one at each time. I mean, uh, yeah, that must have boosted the confidence within all of you. Yeah, exactly. It's just that's my favourite result. To be honest with you, one note, just keep the clean sheet and get the result makes it even positive. And then the two away wins there, and then built on that today, we're not a one 0 win. What can you put your finger on as the, the difference? You know, you conceded a few goals earlier in the season. Now you're much tighter. Do, do you know what's that main reason that you would see as, a, as the keeper looking at what's in front of you? I just feel we've gelled together more because we knew we had the potential and we knew what we could do at the start of the season, even though the results didn't go our way. But you can see it's working now and uh, it's paying off, and we're getting the results now. I'm looking at the team sheet today. I mean, sort of eight young players. I'd say I'm counting Elliot because it's only his second season. You know, in the football league. You know, and, and then you've got Kane. You've got. Uh, Jordan at the back, yeah. you know, uh, as well. I mean, there's not too many old heads around, but as a keeper, you've got a responsibility too because you can see absolutely everything in front of you. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a young squad, and we've got the, the few experienced players in there as well, which really help us. And I just think playing with the confidence we have, we know what we can do, and yeah, that's shown in the last few games. Before that Salford game, did, did you sort of feel the pressure building just a little bit on you? You know, you'd lost here to Bradford City, perhaps a little bit unfortunately. Uh, no, we didn't really feel the pressure because we know what we're capable of, and then we've just click now and it just seems like it's really paying off in the pitch. I said to the boss, you know, the, the, the one for missing today was that second goal, wasn't it? I mean, you were so, so close to it and uh, that's the frustration, creating opportunities, but you have got to take the chances as well because that takes the pressure off the defence a bit too. Yeah, we, we've been creating a lot of chances lately as well, it was just uh, maybe be a bit more clinical, but we still came away with a win and that's the main thing, we scored the goal so, and we've been solid at the back so we can't really say much more. Kicking game is so important in, in games for goalkeepers these days. I mean, even when you're, I mean, you're hardly had a save to make today, to be honest, but that kicking game is so important as well. You, you can't just be a shot stopper anymore. Yeah, exactly. That's just the, the, the modern day now. Uh, kicking's a lot, and uh, goalkeeping's not all about shot stopping. And especially in games like today where I didn't have too much to do, just a lot of kicking, and then that's just helps with uh, keeping you focused in the game as well. So, quite enjoy it. Talk about keeping focused. Uh, how's the goalkeeping coach Joe Murphy? Of course, he was playing last season. Yeah, uh, no. You want to see like with you and, uh, and Matt? Yeah, Joe's Joe's been proud of me, Matt, and young Connor as well. So he's came into the role really well and helps us a lot. And we're really pushing each other. The, the three of us and Joe, including us, including Joe. Sorry, but uh, yeah, it's really good group to work with and very happy. And not just in training as well. I mean, you, know, you had the opportunity last season to watch him a bit as well, didn't you? Being from yeah, the bench, exactly. Just I feel like you just need to watch every goalkeeper that's been playing and try and pick parts of their game that can maybe improve your game and just add that so that was uh, uh, good for me watching him as well and try to put that into my game so I found, found it very helpful. Uh, and we've got to have lost you know, outfield players, you know, what they think they need to improve, you know, what are they concentrating on? You yourself, I mean, you know, what do you think that you can improve in? Just all round game, really coming for across your shot stop and kicking as well, you just come to the age where I'm still improving, still young as a goalkeeper I think so uh, just need to keep building on that and then getting the games on my belt and put, in, uh, put what we work in and training in the games. And in terms of the league table, I mean, you're, you're sort of covering in the top half now, you know, you, there's a little bit of a gap opening up, so these three victories have been so, so important because it keeps you in touch with the the top seven. Yeah, exactly. I feel uh, from the experience last year as well, if you win a few games in a bounce in this league, you fly up the table, so we just need to keep the momentum going and uh, keep climbing up that table now. And the Papa John's Trophy now will be, will be in midweek as well. I mean, that's a chance for sometimes some of the squad players, you know, people haven't got on at a weekend to, to get a game as well, but something I'm sure as a squad you're taking seriously too. Yeah, exactly. We want to go out there and win every game and try to do our best in every competition we're in. And the boys, uh, if they get the chance on Tuesday, that helps the boys that have been playing in the league as well because they're pushing each other and it's a, it's a great group of boys and great group of players as well. And you've played two sides sort of near the top, you know, you, you lost to Leighton Norwich. now Barrow have had a good start to the season, you, you've seen them today as well. Does that tell you you're not too far away perhaps from, from challenging the sides that can be near the top of this division this season? No, we feel we're better, uh, we can compete with any team in this league, I've not a better than them, it's just we need to keep that consistency going and uh, focus and then just focus on ourselves and we know if we play well, nobody can handle us. 
and when you've got happy fans here behind you and in, in the goal, I mean, it's a terrific atmosphere, and, and they help you in these tight games as well, don't they? Yeah, exactly. If the, if the, the crowd aligned, isn't that? It's great for us, giving us that the, the same the 12th man, and that it really pushes on in the last 10 minutes of games if we're holding on to the one nil. Uh, it really helps us and it's, uh, it's great for the team and uh, we really appreciate that from the fans. And you love a 1-0, you know, but you, you take two ones and three twos if it means they win. Yeah, exactly, that's the thing. I love, love the 1-0s, but uh, as long as we get the three points on the board, that's where I'm most happy.